So I have some few questions I'd like to ask you. Uh, you are married to a Tanzanian, but you are originally from Europe, uh, lived in Germany and Switzerland. Mm -hmm. But there are so many Africans who go to Europe, especially in those countries. I would like to know your experience of when you see or just small cultural items or things which we overlook sometimes as Africans going to Europe, mm. uh, like table manners or smaller things which might be perceived differently mm. uh, compared to Africans when they do those things, they might not know that this is a problem or this is a, a culturally inappropriate. Mm. So can you give like some of the examples like, so but we can keep learning from one mm -hmm. another every single day of our lives. Um, I think one of these things I've noticed is that in Germany and I think in all Europe people don't usually barb in public like if you barb you are you might do it slow like really yeah. quietly for yourself and here it's not a problem to barb loudly and when you're eating like these kind of things or leaving the toilet seat up usually we put it down I think these are small things, but they can make a difference because people will also maybe be too ashamed to tell you directly. Yeah. So it's good maybe to know some stuff or let me think. Um, what else? Um. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> <laughs> what else has, has been maybe difficult? Ah, yeah, when you're a guest, I think in Tanzania you wouldn't, you wouldn't be expected to help. Yeah. But in Germany, if you're friends and you've, you know, you've known somebody for a while, usually it's nice to ask, hey, can I help you maybe prepare the, 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 the table or you help even wash the dishes after this kind of things. I think people really appreciate that. Um, what about uh, sometimes he's sneezing, like, he, uh, oh, like I'm just like, he, yeah. I mean, in the US also, like on the table, someone can just sneeze, whatever, mafua, cold, whatever, compared to here in Tanzania. How does that apply in Europe, uh, especially well, German? Yeah, that's the thing, like the other way around. I had to learn coming to Tanzania that I'm not supposed to blow my nose. Yeah in public but in Germany like don't be surprised in, in a lot of countries actually Western countries people will just just blow their nose very loudly in public so it's very normal uh, to do that yeah so these are smaller things but usual sometimes they can bring smaller conflict especially when you have a roommate for instance yeah. of different cultures better to a little bit to take your time to learn so that you can and I think one big advice I can give like just tell tell people in the beginning hey, maybe you can just brief me about some stuff and tell me if I do something that is weird and that in your country, just tell me, like maybe that, that way I can learn and improve quickly. And I think people will be very, very open about some stuff and they will help you to, to kind of integrate quicker. Okay. Thank you so much for your time and I believe you'll keep learning a lot about our culture here in Tanzania and enjoy sure. the life here in Tanzania.